Hey, what's up guys? Jose here at ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I'm reviewing the Slevio Portable Gym Timer. This is what I believe to be a great alternative to the Timebirds timer. The only difference I've seen between the two is really the price point. Timebirds is about 99 bucks. This one over here is about 60 bucks, but it seems to me like they're very, very similar as far as the functions and everything they do. Now this one in particular is magnetic and it's battery operated, so it's perfect if you have a home gym. You don't need to be right next to an electrical wall outlet in order to use it. As long as your battery is charged, you'd be good to go. It does have a strong spine, magnetic spine in the back, so I can toss it into any piece of metal and it'll stay there pretty solidly. I can spin this without a problem and you see it doesn't move at all. Now you can also attach it, of course, to your weight rack. If you have a weight rack, just put it on there. Or if you're a personal trainer that goes and does boot camps and other type of activities that are outdoors, you can even attach it to your car. Now this thing is very small, fits right in the palm of my hand. It's about seven inches in length and then it has a rubber skin on the outside that makes it very easy to, to hang on to. Now on the top here, you see there's five soft keys. You have a start, stop, mode, edit, set, up and down keys. On the side here, you have the option to attach a lanyard to it. I never used a lanyard. I, I just used the metal parts here on the gym. And then over here, right below the lanyard area, then you have the ability to attach a USB-C cable charger to it. Now, as far as the functions go, it does perform 10 different functions. So the first one's gonna be the clock. You can change this from a 12 hour format to a 24 hour format. Very easy to do. You hit the edit button right there and it'll start blinking. So you can switch from the hour to the minute to the seconds. Then you can set, set it to AM, PM or also 12 and 24 hour format. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. Whenever you're done changing it, all you have to do is press the mode button. That'll save it and then you're good to go. Now the next one up is gonna be the intervals. This one, like I said, you can have up to nine customized intervals where you have a workout period and a rest period. Now for a, a workout period, you're gonna see the letter F. This means fitness. And then for the rest periods, you're gonna see the letter C. This means C's. So I'm gonna go ahead and select edit here. And it's gonna show me the F there. That means the workout period. This is the round that you're in. Remember, you can customize up to nine rounds. And then you have your time, your workout time. So if I hit edit, it gives me the ability to select the time there. It's blinking. I'm gonna keep hitting edit. And then I can go up and down on the timer. So if I hit up here, it'll move up. If I, if I hit down, it'll move down. If I continue to hit edit, then it's going to the rest period. As you see, there's the C. This is the first rest period, round number one, and then you select the time. Now, if I continue to hit edit and I hit start, stop, now it'll give me the option to go into the second workout period. As you see, F2, again, you continue hitting edit and it'll take you over to the second rest period, as you see there. And you just continue going for as many rounds as you want to set on this. Once you're done, press the mode button and then it'll save it. Now, if you wanted to start, as I said earlier, this has a 10 second countdown right before you start every workout. I'm gonna hit start button. I have it set to seven seconds, but when it goes to three, it'll start beeping at you, showing you that it's about to start. So there you're starting your workout period, okay? I'm gonna hit stop. If I wanted to reset it, you can press the up and down button at the same time, and it'll reset it to whatever you set before. So let's go into the next mode. I'm gonna hit mode. This is the countdown timer very self-explanatory if i wanted to hit edit i have it set to a minute there so it'll just start counting down from one minute all the way to zero so if i hit start we still get the timer it'll beep at three seconds and then it starts from one minute all the way down so i'm going to hit stop i'm going to reset it next mode is gonna be the countdown with rounds. So this is for AMRAP, as many rounds as possible or as many reps as possible. You hit the edit, edit button. Right now it's set for seven rounds at two minutes. Of course, you can change that. You can hit the edit button and then you can go ahead and change that as well. You can set the time there. Now, if I wanted to change the rounds, I can press the down button. And as you see there, see that these are the workout rounds. Right now it's set at seven rounds, I hit edit. And then I can change that if I wanted to. I can go eight, nine, 10, all the way up to 99. Once it's done, you just hit mode to save it and it's good to go. So you see now it's showing four rounds and this is gonna be AMRAP. So this is not gonna have any rest period. So you're just gonna have a workout period. Next mode up 
is going to be a count up option. This just counts from zero to whatever number you set it to. Let me hit edit. Right now it's at one minute. So if I hit start, there's the countdown timer. It'll start from zero, counting all the way up to one minute. So I'm going to stop it, hit reset. The next mode is going to be the count up with rounds. So this is EMOM, every minute on the minute. Very similar to AMRAP, however you're going backwards. So right now it's set for seven rounds. If I wanted to, I can edit that. We're going to go ahead and go down to, we'll set it for three rounds. We'll save that. And as you can see right there, there is your round number and then your time. I wanted to edit the time, hit edit, change the, change the minute, change the seconds. And then when you're ready to start, let's save it, mode. When you're ready to start, you hit the start button, and there's your countdown timer. And this one is going to start going from zero all the way to whatever number you set it to. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it, reset it, go to mode. This is a stopwatch, pretty self-explanatory. I just hit the start button, and it'll set, start with the stopwatch. Whenever you want to stop it, hit the stop button, and then you can reset it again. Next one up is going to be the alarm. Just like a regular clock, you can set an alarm, hit edit, and you can set your time there. And then we have the counter setting. This is the counter right before every single workout starts. I can go ahead and click edit, and then I can change it either to 10 seconds or below that. So if I press up, it'll go up to 10 seconds. And then you can change that if you want to. You can go down and then save it. Next mode is going to be the beep option. This is just the volume of the beeping sound you hear when I press the keys. So if I press edit here, you can go from one all the way up to five, or you can actually go from zero. If you put it at zero, it'll completely shut off everything, every sound. So I can go to five, four, three, two, one, or zero. If I set it at zero, I'm going to save it there. You'll watch that when I hear, when I, when I press a button here, you're not going to hear a beep anymore. So I shut off the beeping sound. Now that will also shut off all the beeping sounds whenever the buzzer hits your, your time, or either, either a zero or whenever whatever time you select it, if it's going from zero all the way up. So overall, I think it's a pretty good alternative to the time burst timer. Like I said earlier, the only option, the only difference I've seen but from all the functions is the price point. That's, that's basically it. But other than that, it's very, very similar to it for about $30 less or about $40 less than TimeBridge. If you're somebody that's looking for a time uh, timer, just like this one, portable, very small, uh, magnetic, and it's battery powered, then this is one that I would consider just because of the fact that it functions pretty well, has a very strong magnet, you can attach it to several pieces of metal, and it's not gonna move. And then you have the option to do so many things. You have the alarm clock, you have the regular clock, stopwatch, EMOM, AMRAP, you can add up to different uh, nine different intervals with this. So it has a lot of functionality and it's very small, perfect for the home gym. What I'll do is I'll leave a link below this video so you can check it out. If you like the information in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments and questions down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest uploads. For more home gym equipment reviews, make sure you also visit my website, shredditdad.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.